Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. Big news for Impact Wrestling yesterday on social media. Just big day. Really big day for them. I think there's a misconception about myself and this channel, and every time I open my mouth, that I'm always only going to point out what Impact Wrestling does wrong, what they do incorrectly, what they can improve on. And I feel the need to say this every so often. When I first started this channel, I was bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, loving TNA, seeing a lot of good things, and seeing a lot of things they could improve on. And then you become grizzled after a while, after four years, five years, however long I've been doing this, and I'm still saying the same things over and over, so it becomes difficult to remain that positive voice when I feel like I'm just saying the same thing. This being said, I always tell you guys I will point out when they're doing things right and they're doing good things and doing things correctly. They had a huge day on social media yesterday. I've been asking for this for how long now? To just handle social media the right way create buzz, create chatter, and they did that yesterday. The best example, or the worst example, however you want to look at it, is when the Wolves had the match on digital media recently, their digital media match. Yes, it was just a digital media exclusive, but you can't just drop big names and big news out of the blue. You have to build a little anticipation on social media. That was a strategy at one, once upon a time on Twitter and Facebook that worked for a very short period of time where you would post something and say, just going to leave this here. You guys know what I'm talking about. Just going to leave this here. That worked for a short period of time. But you have to build anticipation. And they did that yesterday. They said, big announcement in 30 minutes. I was thinking Dixie Carter was going to pop on and say we're going to India. And many people were prepared for, you know, a BS announcement. They were, they were prepared to be disappointed. And they did not disappoint. They announced that Jonathan Gresham will be returning. I say returning. He's done a little TNA work. He'll be returning to Impact Wrestling this time as the ROH world champion to defend against Christopher Saban. Chris Saban. Why did I call him Christopher? They Social media went nuts over this. Look at the engagement on Twitter. Look at the tweet. Look at the engagement. And that's what I'm talking about. Making big announcements. Making people wait for it just a little bit. When they did that digital media exclusive with the Wolves, you could still say, hey, in 30 minutes, you know, Big match, match announcement, biggest digital media uh, exclusive match we've had yet. You could you could do something. You know what I mean. And what they did here was uh, was taking the steps in the, in the right direction on how to handle Twitter and make sure you get the maximum reach. Impact's maximum reach right now is the TV show and then YouTube. But they continue to make. Twitter their big news outlet, which I guess that's what it's designed for. A lot of people do. But they have their worst social media reach with Twitter. Look at the engagement numbers. It's by far the worst. That's why you can't mess around on Twitter. You have to deliver news in a way that people are going to react to it immediately. And they have to know it's coming. I mean, it helps when they know it's coming. I was waiting for the announcement. I'm, I was sitting at work and I, you know, kept Twitter handy. So I could find out what it was. I even made the first comment on there. All I said was, whoa. <laughs> and some people were, responded with, we own the night, trying to troll me. <laughs> but um, they just, I can't say enough good about this. I saw people saying, I'm going to get hard to kill now. You know, it got, it got people excited. And even if it's just the impact circle, the circle of fans, that's the ones you want to start with. You got to start with home, the people that you want to order the pay-per-view and then you start working on the people who are more casual watchers of impact which I think they spoke to some of those people yesterday by doing this and by making this big announcement and they did it on a Thursday 
as a content creator, I can tell you Thursday is the impact day on social media. And it makes sense because that's the day the show was on. But that's their day. That's where the traffic is highest by far. So that's the perfect day to do it. That wasn't their only announcement. They let us know their taping schedule. I can't remember the last time they've done this. I don't remember the last time they've, tra- they've traveled that much that often to where they're doing Fort Lauderdale, uh, Philadelphia, obviously Dallas, New Orleans, and uh, Louisville. I'm hoping to make the Louisville show, but that's uh, it's going to be a little tough. But at least I can plan for it. You know, that gives an opportunity for a lot of you guys to plan to go to these shows. And it gives a visual roadmap to Rebellion. It lets us know the Impact Plus shows that are coming so that we can prepare for those and possibly get to those shows. But it was a visual roadmap saying, is reminding you, hey, this is the next pay-per-view. This is how we're going to get there. It's letting us know that after Hard to Kill, that first night in Dallas, that episode is going to mean something and it's going to build to the next pay-per-view. So as much as I felt like there was a lot of wasted time this month with Wrestle House, well, that was last month, and, uh, you know, Throwback Throwdown, and why I think the social media marketing, I'll talk about this on the Cool Factor, I think the social media marketing for the Ultimate X match could have been a thousand times better, and I'll give you guys my ideas how, so stay tuned for that. They have, all things considered, done a good job getting some excitement for Hard to Kill because I didn't think it was going to happen. I was like, the pay-per-view's coming up way too quickly here, and who's talking, you know? I mean, there's probably more people talking than some of their previous pay-per-views, but I just felt like the card was too big, and there should have been more chatter going on, and there just wasn't. Now they got the chatter going. It's circulating. People were excited. They're talking about, I want to see Hard to Kill, and Hard to Kill last year was work of art, in my opinion. Even as an empty arena show, I thought that pay-per-view was magnificent. So now I'm really looking forward to this one as well. And even some of the, the you know, mid-card, undercard matches are still pretty good so far. You know, I, I don't care about a 50-man hardcore match, but, you know, aside from that, this is looking like it's going to be a great show. So they did social media right yesterday. They did what I've been <laughs> from the beginning saying, this is what you got to do uh, to generate interest because you have to start with home. You know, we want the people outside who, who sometimes watch Impact, something, you know, if something's good's on, we want them to tune in, absolutely. But you got to start with exciting the people who watch your product and not the people who like everything. That That's the group. They're just, you can put on throwback, throwdown, uh, four days a month and they're going to be like this is the greatest thing ever we that's not the people i'm talking about i'm talking about the people who love the company want to see them succeed but also are realistic about where they're at and want to see them do better and the ones who get upset when they don't do good those are the people you want to you know people like myself people like tw you know a lot of you guys that i interact with on a daily basis my boy mike at fight game media those people the people who love the company but but get mad when they fuck up. That's who you want to get excited about the product, and then then you build from there. So let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. Thanks for checking me out. As always, I'm your boy BQ. I'm out. Peace.